Okay, so it's uh, six o'clock now, and um, these are my uh, stoma bags. Um, all this is uh, stoma supplies, um, and uh, also in this uh, wonderful uh, cupboard, all this um, stuff here is uh, various uh, stoma supplies as well. So um, I'm just going to uh, basically uh, no idea is that I'm just going to put these stone supplies away because uh, I need to all build them all up there's absolutely loads of them and um, I also have to do a ma two massive bags of prescription um, which I'll do every two weeks which is really exciting but it's part of the way to spend my Saturday because uh, I need to clear the screen because someone's coming to view the house on Monday and uh, we hope that they, uh, they like it yeah, more later. Okay, so I've now sorted out uh, the spare bedroom, um, all my stoma supplies. Um, I've created a, a new bag of hospital emergency supplies, um, which you can see here, just in case I uh, have to go into hospital at the last minute. Um, but if you swing around, everything in the cupboard is all nice and neat and tidy now. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I've now sorted out all my uh, stone supplies. Um, the, uh, the bedroom is nice and clear, um, and I've created a lovely hospital emergency supplies bag, um, a new one, um, in case I have to go by ambulance to hospital. Um, it's always uh, useful to have this um, quite often. In the past, my poor husband has been scrabbling around for uh, the stoma bags, um, which isn't a good idea. Um, anyway, I wanted to introduce you to my companion in the bathroom. Um, if I, uh, if we come down the hall here, um, into the bathroom, this is uh, our cat, Moo. Hello, Moo. How are you? Are you sleeping on the bath mat? Moo is called Moo because I don't know if you can see his face. He looks like a little Frisian cow. Um, and uh, he doesn't look it, but he is actually 15. Aren't you Moo? And uh, he often stays with me in the bathroom, um, keeps me company at night, um, whilst I'm uh, changing my stoma bag or whilst I have a leak. He'll just sit quite happily on the bath mat. Anyway, I'm uh, going to have to go because uh, I'm afraid it's uh, time for me to uh, go to the loo again, but uh, I'll catch up later. Okay, I've been to the loo, um, and uh, basically uh, I'm happy now, um, my uh, bag was happy, and uh, let's uh, see whether Moo, our little miniature Frisian cow, is happy. Moomy! Hello! I think it's time for uh, Moomy and I to, uh, to go make some dinner, um, because uh, I think we're both very hungry. Come on, Moomy! Him. Is he? He's coming out of the bathroom. Come on. There you go. Mimi's going to wait for me in my little shadow to come downstairs and we're going to get some dinner. Good boy. He's 15, so he's possibly a little bit uh, arthritic. But there he goes. He's coming down. Yes, he's coming down. Hello. <laughs> That's my husband watching the uh, watching the rugby. So I'll leave him to it. But so it's time to uh, to go into the kitchen and uh, and get us both some dinner. Or we'll get us all some dinner. Come on, Mimi. Good boy. Okey doke, well this is Moo's bowl. Yep, he's saying I would like some dinner please. And here's the kitchen. And I guess this is me. But uh, I'm uh, going to, uh, to make some dinner and uh, I'll talk again later. Okay, so the one other thing I forgot to mention um, is that I, I love to cook. Um, it's not the most 
interesting thing about me, but um, or about us really. Um, but uh, it's something that uh, I'm grateful that I can do when I'm well enough to. Um, sometimes I'm too tired, but uh, I'm really grateful that I can still eat. Um, last year I nearly lost my stomach and the, uh, the possibility of being tube fed for the rest of my life was, was very real. Um, and so I, I, I'm really, I love my food. Um, as you can see, I kind of love healthy stuff, but you know, I also, I also love all sorts of things, my crisps and I have to eat lots of salt. Basically, um, I can't add it to the food I cook, but uh, I add it at the table because I lose a lot of salt through my stoma. But um, usually, I can uh, I can eat what I want. Or I've had a few problems lately, um, which has limited me um, a little bit. But um, yeah, I I love to cook, so um, that's what I'm doing now. It's uh, 20 to 8, so to be honest, I, I better get on because uh, otherwise that. Uh, I might be in trouble because <laughs> we won't have any food. So um, I'll uh, perhaps do another update later. Okay, so um, it's now 8.30. Um, I was going to triumphantly kind of show you everything wonderful that I've cooked. Um, but um, it's kind of uh, tricky because it's sort of in the oven and on the grill, as you can see, um, and on the plate. But anyway, just a taste of what we're having. Um, here we go. Basically, seared tuna. Um, I have some corn on the cob in a nice steamy hot pan down there. And I have some quesadillas um, down here, which are actually already in the oven, but uh, no, you probably can't see them just a plate. Um, and they are goat cheese. Um, and uh, red onion. Anyway, uh, this is me, uh, Catherine, signing off, so uh, I might uh, say more later. Okay, so here's uh, Moo, and uh, I'm just, uh, it's like 8 30, I'm just going into the lounge because uh, I've just cooked dinner. So uh, here's uh, my husband, Chris, and uh, we're just having corn on the cob, um, seared tuna, um, spinach, and feta, and um, red onion quesadillas, um, corn cob, and obviously a nice glass of wine. Right. Enjoy. I'm hungry. So, okay, um, it's now 10 o'clock. Um, we had dinner, uh, so I cooked as I said. And um, we watched The X Factor like millions of other people. Um, and uh, I, I need to go to the loo again. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to, uh, to have a second go at uh, explaining um, how uh, my stoma works or what happens. So uh, without, uh, without embarrassing myself and revealing too much, um, I just wanted to see if you can see this. So this is what happens. Um, I end up really basically sort of quite bulging. Um, probably needed to go a while ago. Um, excuse the uh, attractive granny pants. I better just uh, lose my necklace for a second. Um, so basically this is my stoma bag. Um, this is my stomach, my, my scar. You can't really see it but it runs down my stomach here. Um, and this is what happens. Um, my stomach get, bag gets rather full. Um, essentially, it's like walking around um, with the, you know, a bag of poo on the outside rather than a bag of poo inside. Everybody has one inside. Um, it's just that uh, I have one outside because they, uh, they had to remove my colon um, because of uh, a chronic illness called vasculitis. Anyway, um, I, uh, I'm, if you excuse me, I really am going to have to go to the loo, by which point I open this bit at the bottom, and, uh, and, and, and the rest you can probably understand. Um, but I'll, I, I have a few more things to say afterwards, so if you'll excuse me, um, I'm going to pause now. Okay, so it's, um, it's 10 o'clock now, um, and uh, I've just been 
to the loo again. Um, that's okay. Um, we watched a bit of TV from X Factor, like millions of other people. Um, and, uh, and I just wanted to say that it's been a good day today. Um, I've um, had little pain, um, some pain in my back, some pain in my leg, but overall um, today has been a good day. Um, I woke up with the stoma leak at 8 o'clock, but um, I, I slept reasonably well. Um, and uh, and, and that, that's been a good day. I've done stuff, we've been out. Um, um, we had coffee, we had some cake, we saw a house, um, we can't afford it, but um, that's okay. Um, we'll stick with the uh, avocado bathroom that we have, it's alright for now. Um, and I have, uh, I'm not sure I have my health, um, but uh, I have my husband and I have my friends and I have my husband's family um, and my brother in Australia, of course. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a good day. Um, and uh, I'll uh, catch up once more before um, we go to bed. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, that, that's all the updates I have. Um, okay, it's uh, now really quite late. Um, it's well, it's twenty to twelve, um, which is late enough for me. Um, and uh, it's rare that I manage to get out. Um, usually, if it goes out um, later. But then, if we had kids, most thirty-nine-year-olds probably don't go out that much on a Saturday night anyway. So. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, I'm, as you can see, I'm ready for bed, almost. Um, I've got to take my makeup off, um, but uh, um, I, I haven't been feeling too good. I had something extra, some pudding, and it didn't fit too well um, and, uh, on, on my stomach, so I've been feeling a bit sick. Um, and have some pain. But apart from that, I'm okay. Um, I just wanted to show you something before I go to bed. Um, this is my normal size bag. Um, and then I kind of have a nickname. This is the nighttime bag. Um, and this is what I uh, now need to clip on. Um, this is um, basically, I call it an elephant ear. Um, it's my elephant ear because, well, it's kind of quite big. Um, <laughs> looks like an elephant ear? No? Okay. Um, basically, um, I can quickly show you the end kind of folds up. And it folds up like that. And then I reach down here and I get some alcohol gel to absorb all the liquid and I put those into it um, and then basically what I would do but I'm not actually going to do it is unclip the stoma bag that's here and I clip this one on um, I'm actually going to do it over there um, rather than on camera um, simply because um, my stoma is currently squirting rather a lot and I've just been to the loo and emptied this and it's already filling up quite a lot um, anyway I'll uh, say uh, good night and um, god bless and um, thanks for watching <laughs>